Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and just yesterday, Apple announced some new products at their Back to the Mac event, and one of those products was a new version of their iLife suite of applications. It's now called iLife 11, uh, obviously for next year, 2011, but they've brought it out a few months early, and they updated features on three of the applications in iLife. They made changes to GarageBand, also made changes to iPhoto, but in this video I'm going to be showing you the new iMovie 11. Now there are a lot of new features in iMovie 11, but I'm going to be concentrating just on the new trailers feature, where you can create a really impressive trailer with a, just so much ease, it's absolutely unbelievable. So let's get down to it. This is the application you can see on your screen at the moment. They did also add in um, some uh, different uh, audio options, you can actually show audio waveforms down here and actually fade in and out audio and change the levels. But as I say, I'm going to show you the new trailers feature. And you do that by going up to your file menu and creating a new project. Now instead of selecting a project theme in this top panel here, you're going to go down to the movie trailer section and you've got a good selection of trailers to choose from. Uh, things like action, adventure, blockbuster, documentary. Uh, in total, they have given us 15 different trailer themes. Well, I've had a look around these and the one that impressed me most is Supernatural. And if you click on any of the thumbnails, it gives you a preview of what your trailer can look like in the right hand window. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna be calling this uh, iMovie, if I can spell, iMovie 11 trailer. And I'm going to click create. Now when you click create, it gives you a new uh, trailer window up here. Uh, I'm going to actually import some video footage as well. Let me navigate to my uh, movies completed folder. And I'm going to actually pull in my Beats Solo HD review. I think that's a good one to show you. Okay, so now that's finished importing, I'm gonna show you how you can put a trailer together. If I go into this top section here, this is where you're gonna actually um, determine what is included in your trailer. We've got an outline tab, a storyboard tab, and also a shot list. If I go into outline first, and we can give this uh, a name, so I'm gonna call this um, Beats Solo HDs. And release date, we're going to say, October 2010 Geek and Noise channel uh, for the studio name on the Geek and Noise channel we just actually take out that we'll edit this a little bit and just call it the Geek and Noids channel in there and then we get to choose the logo style at the moment it's on sun rays through clouds but I'm going to change it to let's have a look at snowy mountain peak so that's what that looks like um, not happy with that either so let's go and choose signals across the globe so that's really good and then we're on to credits so here I've already done these edits in here but you can type in anything you want I've put my name Dave Cryer is directed by edited by written by and you can be quite quite creative in what you actually type into this credit section and then we move on to the storyboard and this is where we're going to add in um, how the, the actual video is going to sort of come together. So I've got the Geek and Noise channel written up here and again I can edit this again. And then we've got this first piece of text where it says an ancient culture. So let's change this to read um, Beats by Dr. Dre. And then we're gonna add in a couple of um, short parts here. So I want a nice landscape or wide angle shot. So I quite like, here we go, this is quite a nice wide angle shot. So I'm gonna pull in a piece of this, and as I stretch that selection over, um, it gives me just the 2.7 seconds that I need. Now it's asking for another landscape shot, so I'm gonna choose one here, and again, let's put that into my storyboard. Now it's asking for a medium shot, 
So I'm going to come in perhaps to this section here and then it's asking for another medium shot. Well, let's go perhaps to, um, well, this is a close up, but I want a more medium shot. So let's, let's just stick in another section of me talking there. And now it's asking for these particular shots. So medium, then the landscape, action and landscape again. So I'm going to fill in all of these blanks. And again, as I'm dragging across, I want a medium shot. So I'm going to go to the end of this section here. And then another landscape shot. Let's perhaps pop in. Let's just pop in this to see what this likes looks like. And then it's asking for an action shot. Well, perhaps I can get a little bit of my feet going across as an action shot. There we go, that one there. And again, it adds that in. Then another landscape shot, and you get the idea. So I'm going to continue filling these in all the way down until I've finished, um, finished the whole trailer. But for these ones here, I don't particularly want to add anything in. I, I think I've got enough footage. So I'm going to add in... And this is the little tip. If I don't want to add in any more clips, I can just continue adding in the same clip until I've finished. And this will become apparent why I'm doing this later on. Now, I do want some, um, some more text in here as well. If I go back up here, I've got Beats by Dre written in here, and then also I've got the words Immortal here, so I'm going to put um, uh, Stunning Sound, and then on the next section down, I'm going to actually type in uh, Voice Control, and then next section down, again, I'm going to uh, put in here extreme comfort this is just some of the features of the product that I was reviewing could be any words you're typing in it's asking for two more shots so I'm going to put in a close-up of this come down to here I'm going to put in this close-up in there and then I don't want another clip there so I'm going to select the same close-up and then some more text so in here I'm going to um, actually I'm going to go back up and just change this so it's more accurate voice control I'm going to change that to control talk feature and then down here I'm going to put in detachable cable and then just here I'm going to put in um, warm vocals and then I want some slow, slow motion shots going here so let me select Hi. that section there going here and then in this section here I don't want anything else I'm going to select the same bit again and the same bit again I'm going to go back to this one and actually um, actually change it. I'm going to change this one here. Yeah. I just want this bit. There we go. So, so now I can actually watch my trailer through or I can go across to the shot list and I can actually add in audio or I can click this little switch here and adjust the way the clip's used or I can click this icon here and remove this clip. And if I remove the clip, it doesn't remove this two second section, so I end up with a blank space. So this is what I want to show you in the second part of this review, is that you can get rid of the clips after you've finished a trailer. So these are my shot lists, uh, so I can edit the shots. This is my storyboard, and this is my outline. So let's go back to the storyboard and just on this last 
close-up section again. I'm just going to change this to, uh, to something else. Uh, wrong button. I'm going to... Okay, done. I'm going to go to my shot list. Uh, remove it in this section here. in a different shot in here so okay. there we go and that is the um, trailer completed I've got everything in order and I can actually play it by clicking one of these two buttons here either full screen or playing it from the beginning so let's go and play it full screen and just have a look at what it looks like <laughs> So you get the idea now it creates quite a long trailer and a lot of people have been saying that you can't alter the length length of these clips well that is in fact right if I'm in storyboard mode I can't alter the length of this I'm stuck with the predetermined template that Apple have given me but there is a way you can do it if I go up to my I my file menu in iMovie and then say convert to project this actually takes it out of that um, trailers uh, interface and into a normal editable project and in here I can actually uh, highlight clips and take them out so I can take out all of these and make the whole thing shorter and this is why I use the same clip it just makes it easier for me to determine which ones I want to take out this one here I want to take out and at the end I was quite happy just with I don't want that one, I just want this one, but I want it to, in fact, I mean, if I, if I double, or if I actually, if I go to here and do clip trimmer, I can actually take this down in size and then click done. So now, lot more snappier trailer um, and the reason I like to wanted to just experiment if I could actually change the clips and remove clips was because uh, I actually am thinking of using this to create an intro so I want to be able to reduce the length of the trailer to sound something reasonable to introduce videos so I'm actually going to take out uh, I'm actually going to move this one here and I'm going to move that to here and then I'm going to take out this one completely to make it even shorter and now I'm down to a 46 second trailer so I could use this for creating quite a snappy intro to my videos now it's not meant for that that's just one of the uses I thought I might be able to use it for um, I can actually play this now from the beginning looks really really effective they've done an extremely good job of creating this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this uh, short sort of tutorial or overview now and I'm going to tag on the complete trailer in full screen to the end of this video for you to watch <laughs> very much for watching this video 
if you want to see my other videos then please do watch the Geek and Noise channel and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future ones and also if you want my regular updates please follow me on Twitter by following at Geek and Noise.